The formal objects like clothes, garments, cables, wires, and ropes are widespread present in our lives. However, many limitations exist when deploying robotic systems to interact with the host. One main challenge is their complex perception. Deep learning algorithms can address these issues, however, extensive training data is usually required. This paper proposes uh, uh, a method for efficiently labeling DOs in images at the pixel level, starting from sparse annotation of key points. This allows the generation of a real-world dataset of DO images for segmentation purposes with minimal human effort. By harnessing the capabilities of a pre-trained foundation model, specifically the segment editing model, we can convert any sparse uh, annotation into a dense one without requiring fine-tuning steps or domain-specific knowledge. Additionally, by utilizing a robotic arm equipped with an in-hand camera, we can leverage the mobility of the, robot, uh, uh, of the robot to collect multiple images of the scene from different viewpoints. And since the camera is extremely calibrated, we can obtain image label for each sample with just one annotation. The approach consists of three main steps. First, a set of images is collected by the camera-equipped robotic arm. Then, a user performs sparse annotation via key points on just one image from the collected set. And finally, the initial sparse annotations are converted into dense labels ready for segmentation tasks by leveraging a foundation model in zero-shot settings. A detailed view of the pipeline is shown here. The input annotation are provided as prompt points for the frozen sand model. In case the scene contains multiple objects, each object label is inferred separately by SAM and merged uh, at the end. The rules approach is validated by employing various DOs, specifically uh, a set of clothes for group A and B and uh, ropes for group C. And to validate the quality of the labels, four backgrounds are utilized to gather test data samples with five samples per background for a total of 20 test samples for each group, denoted as test A, B, and C. First, the quality of the labels, uh, first, the quality of the generated labels is tested employing different methods. SAM, SAM quality, and RITM. Both SAM and SAM quality models consistently provide accurate results. In contrast, RITM often fails to accurately interpret an object in type shape and may even merge different objects together. A second set of experiments involves the number of prompt points and the VIT model variant employed. Considering the first set to this act, it seems to lead to improved accuracy. Uh, regarding the VAT model variant, no clear difference is observed across the different versions, highlighting how the lightweight tiny model is already enough for getting good results.